and welcome to the pumpkin make along prize drawing video of 2019. I am Gabby, the host of the Once Upon a Corgi podcast, and I'm here with my fellow pump queen, Joanna. Hello! <laughs> I'm Joanna of Stitching the High Notes, and this is our fourth annual? Fourth annual. Fourth annual pumpkin make along. Oh my goodness, prize drawing. <laughs> we are currently both filming um, as we FaceTime on a separate piece of technology. So hopefully this will be <laughs> a little bit better than in years past. I liked, was it our first one where it was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the next one, it was like a four minute gap between what we were saying. <laughs> We were like, we're gonna let you know what your prizes are, so. <laughs> we're good at this. All right, we're so good. <laughs> Four years in, maybe we'll get it right. <laughs> I hope. I do hope. Anyway, we have lots of beautiful prizes for you all, for everybody that finished a make um, this year. And so we're going to use random number generator and um, in my Ravelry group and alternate between uh, my finished makes Ravelry group as well as Gabby's finished makes Ravelry group. Yes. Yay. All right, do you wanna start? Sure. All right, so our first prize, we have two copies two, not four, of the Temple of the Dog pattern by Vicky. So let us continue. Yes. And I have post number 33, which is, pause for scrolling, Stacy Lynn Creative, who had made tiny knitted pumpkins. Oh, They're so cute. There's so cute. many this year, They're so cute. Oh. I, want, I only have one mini knitted pumpkin and now I need a thousand. I need a thousand. I need them all over the house. <laughs> yes, all year round. Yeah. So that is Stacy from Georgia. So get in touch with me via Ravelry and I will get that pattern sent over to you. Yay. All right. And I have randomly selected um, using a generator number 54 who is L-M-E-C-O-L-L, -L, who is Linda. And she knitted a gorgeous, gorgeous Prairie Valley shawl um, out of Leading Men Fiber Arts monologue in the spiced apple cider colorway. So it's really pretty. Yes. So yeah, so get in contact with me and I'll hook you up with that pattern. Yay. <laughs> All right, the next one is one that is all wrapped up that I'm not gonna take out in again, but I will uh, send, put in a photo here or we'll put in a photo here or something. And that's a beautiful pumpkin painting, which was donated by Vicki Pearson, who has a Etsy shop called Cafe A Art. And um, she's on Instagram as Vic Pier, V-I-C Pier. And it's so, so pretty. So thank you again, Vicki, for your beautiful donation. And then did you want to select the sure. winner? All right, let's get to the right tab. I think I just hit the camera, sorry. <laughs> and I keep bouncing the table and my, my stack of books just does this. <laughs> I'm living on the edge. Living, living on the edge. <laughs> We have uh, post number eight, which is. I like our dance while we. Yeah. Get the info. So, this is Mystery Sewer who did two at a time September cozy knitter socks. And they're, they look like uh, children's tube socks and self striping, and they're super cute. So cute. That's awesome. Well, congratulations. Just get in contact with me and let me know what your address is and I will pop it in the mail to you. Yay. All right. Do you want to do, you want to do a prize? <laughs> so we will do the fiber first. I have this muted rainbow fiber that I pulled out of the podcast bin. It's so pretty. I was super tempted to keep this for myself, but I have lots of spinning to do and somebody needs to spin this and then take pictures so we can see it. 
So this yeah. is a merino tencel, one ounce of six colors. And do you want to draw the price for this one? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I think now we're yeah, we like, okay, random number. We have got number 28, who is Knit Takes Two, who is Michelle from Georgia. And she made a hat that reminds her of a carved pumpkin. And it's really cool. It's got like lace work on here. And then the, um, the brim is gray. It's really cool. Sounds adorable. Yay! So get in touch with me and I will get this out to you. And if you don't spin, let me know and we'll figure something else out. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Okay. And then I've got some needle minders. So we'll send this, we'll do random number. I've got two of them. So one for your group and one for my group. Oh my god, they're so cute! Are they so cute? I'll show you one. Where was the camera there? <laughs> so these are from Molly so Klein sweet. of Molly Klein Design. And they're the Bell, um, the rose from Bell Beauty and the Beast. There you go. And they're magnetic. So you put, they've got like a little doodad here. And that's yep. there. And then you put it on your cross stitch work and you put your needle on there and it'll stay put needle mind it will stay minded <laughs> I love them so um I think we'll just randomly select somebody and if they don't cross stitch they could let us know but or yeah. embroider but so many people do so many things so yep you can just use it as like a darning needle put that on your notions pouch bam so bam. true oh, you're so smart or or it's a magnetic pin <gasps> so many ways look at us <laughs> this is the 17 ways you can use a needle minder. <laughs> YouTube video. <laughs> All right, so you want to select a winner first, and then I will. Dancing, dancing. Dun, dun. All right, I have post number 47. <gasps> and it is Manic Maiden, and she did a Star Wars pumpkin colorwork hat. I saw that. I love it so much. Like yeah. full on Star Star Wars right now with the Mandalorian. Yeah. Like just figured out we have the Disney thing through our cell phone service. So I'm like, can we please set this up? I need to watch the whole thing okay. in a day. Okay. All right, so Manic Maiden, get in touch with Joanna and she will get that shipped out to you. Yep. All right, and then I've selected number 35, who is the Captain And, who is Tanil, hopefully I'm saying that right, from British Columbia, Canada. And she knit a beautiful pair of pumpkin spice latte socks. So, so pretty. And I love the contrasting heels uh, and cuffs. Did she do the kit or did she do? I don't know. She did like, I don't know about the kit, but she did like a yeah. really pretty, um, like pumpkin spice latte colorway looking. And yeah. then the heels and the cuffs are the um like a speckled gray or whatever is that the yes yeah. so it looks it was like the froth of the pumpkin spice latte i'm into it <laughs> so yeah so reach out to me and i will pop this in the mail send me your address congrats so the next prize is a pair of bags that I have not received yet from a previous winner today, Manic Maiden. She, uh, I'll put in a picture here and I'll send it to you too, Gabby. She uh, just contacted me the other day and she made a bag with pumpkins and cats on it. It is so cute. I'm so excited to see these. <laughs> so cute. And so her husband is going to be in town for business and so uh, the first week of December. So he's going to drop it off at the opera house. <laughs> So once I receive that, I will uh, let the winner know um, and they can just let me know that they saw this as well to claim the prize. Perfect. So I think, is it you? Your, uh, your Ravelry group? Yes. All right. All right, so I pulled number 13. Look, okay. always. There is no post 13. 
Da <laughs> Pumpkin mouth controversy. <laughs> Goes all the way to the top. Whoa, that's crazy. It was deleted by the poster? Uh. Oh, okay. So post 14 is the same person and she said, sorry, I'm having problems posting my FOs. Here's my second one though. Okay. All right. So do we just want to go down to 14 since it was the same person? Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna stop being spooky and just go to post 14 because it's the same person. Yeah. Looking at the wrong camera. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> They're so close. <laughs> and that is. Yeah, so I know. <laughs> Shea? Shay? From Sweden. Ooh. Yay. And she has done a. Um, very good cowl in this beautiful pumpkin spice color and I love it and it's gorgeous so <laughs> oh it's knitted of um if I just read the post I would know this full and vines harpsichord so it's like that spooky pumpkin love it <laughs> so get in touch oh, with spooky cats and yeah pumpkin. oh it's perfect it's perfect so get in touch with Joanna, and then when the bags come in, we will get those out to you. <laughs> yes. Yay, congratulations. So I have this sock set from A Girl and Her Wool. It is a 75-25 Superwash Merino nylon blend, and it comes with a little contrast gain in her... So the Gourd Place. <laughs> I love that name. <laughs> Colorway. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I'll show you. If you can see it with this blinding light. I love it. So pretty. All right. Do you want to draw for that one? Sure. All right. <gasps> Beloved person. Number 57. Kill to craft. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We're all very excited for every single winner, but it's... <laughs> but Vanessa is... A dear, a dear, a dear friend, Instagram, fiber friend. And so Nessa, get in touch with me and, um, or no, get in touch with Gabby. Yes, I have it. Gabby. <laughs> Wherever she is. I'm missing like 13. Yay. Oh, and um, Nessa made a as if pumpkin tea. It's so cute. I love the like the contrasting mohair. She posted in the swan along as well, and it is, it is swantastic. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I like that it has like the dark on the top for the mohair and the lighter yeah. color. I'm into that. Love it. Awesome. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. And then I think the, oh, I have a, in real life our IRL one. I have this beautiful bag, but wait, there's another bag. <laughs> it's a lovely small kind of shawl size bag and notions pouch, with these cute little tassels for the zipper pulls. And this is by J and J Craft Co. There's the label. And it's got a handle. Oh, I love it. Everything you need. Love it. And so the winner for this, did you, are we on your? Sure. Yes. I do. And thank you, Jenny, for the donation. Yes. We have post number 74. It smells really good too. <laughs> I love when bags smell really good. You're like, oh, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> this is a pleasant surprise. So 74 is Colorful Coder, and she did a pumpkin, Christy Shawl in Pumpkin Spice and Autumn in My Soul by Cozy Up Knits and Dragon Horde Yarn. Nice. It's gorgeous. Oh, that's my camera. Gotta change the, <laughs> the recording. <laughs> so Colorful, Colorful Coder, who is Sally from Louisiana, get in touch with Joanna and she will get that out to you. All right, and then I think the last, second to last one is 
the cross stitch pattern yes that my mom donated and i have misplaced it but it's somewhere <laughs> So I will from my group from the chatter thread because I don't think there were any finished cross stitch projects yeah. in our groups, but I'll triple check. And then if not, I'll go to the chatter thread in my group and um, select randomly select a winner um, and send out and let you and contact you and we can coordinate getting that pattern to you. So I think I saw one person who did a an ornament. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just doing a quick search. Oh yeah. Oh, it was um Shea who did the um the cow out of Volenbein. She did a little um pumpkin in a teacup ornament. That's right. I knew I saw one. But yeah, do you want to pull from the chatter thread to I think I'll pull from the chatter thread to mix it up. Yeah. I think we should do that. That. Yeah. So, once I find it. <laughs> <laughs> Resetting. All right, and then the last, did you wanna tell everybody, all the winners about the last extra prize? Yes, our grand prize to everybody who has won a prize today is you are all getting a copy of the I Love You More Than Pumpkin Spice Socks by Cece Allman, who is Java Pearl. So congratulations to everybody for making our fourth annual pumpkin make along as pumpkin-y as ever. Super pumpkin-y this year, it was so awesome. All right, yay. yay. <laughs> Thank you everybody and here's to next year. We look forward Thank to you. it. Yes, we will see you all next year for our next pumpkin make along. Yay. yay. See. <laughs>